Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Artifacts96 back with another video for you guys. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and skip all the pleasantries and save it for another video because I'm not going to even try to pretend like I'm going to be this nice, sweet, radiant spirit right now. I may look like radiant spirit because I'm very handsome, but I'm not a radiant spirit today. Today, I'm very pissed off. Today, he is giving you, we're not going to have it today. Okay, because I'm pretty sure you have heard about these rioters. Well, I'm not going to call them protesters on my channel, sweetie. So if you're expecting that, then please, uh, please leave where you came in. That you know what to do. The door, please. The rioters stormed the Capitol building, ran amok, and a woman was killed. At first, she was shot. Uh, they shot her. And then she succumbed to her injuries because of crazy rioting Trump supporters. You people did that. The rioters, you did that. You are responsible for that poor woman's death. All the pain that her family is going to go through, you are responsible for that. But you know who else is responsible for it? Grifters. Y'all know who I always talk about on my channel. You know I'm about to get into you already hear the song playing, so you might as well bob your head to the beat, sweetie. You coons. Officer Tatum, or Tatum, should I call you? I, that video that you just uh, put out, I can't take no more. That's how the rest of us feel. We can't take any more of your bull crap. In your video, Tatum. You decided to say police need to move back and let uh, uh, the Trump supporters and let these rioter people just do whatever. I thought you said back the blue. Didn't you say that when all those black people got killed by police officers? Back the blue. Now when it's Caucasian people invading a public building, actually broke in. They, they didn't pass by it and just say, oh, we love Trump. No, they didn't say that. They didn't do that. They actually broke into with violence. A woman was killed. Now you want to say, oh, police stand back and just let them do whatever they want to. You're full of crap. You are full of crap. Only thing that you care about is that paycheck. The paycheck that, are you, uh, that you are getting paid for to sell this bull crap. People who follow you and like you should understand this hypocrisy by now because you always you say I always back the blue. You and the rest of your coon friends say back the blue, back the blue. Now you're saying the blue needs to stand back. Blue needs to get out of the way. You don't support police officers. The only thing you support is the people who sign your paycheck. Trump, you are, and that's Trump and some more people. You are a grifter. You are a coon. You're not for the betterment of anybody. Instead of you actually being a man that you proclaim to be now, Mr. Man, yeah, that's right. I got on black nail polish telling you that you ain't no man. Nah, nigga, you ain't no man. You show sure ain't. And I got and I got the go nasty to say it too. You ain't no man. You say, let, let, let me go back again before I get uh, too heated. Let me go back again about the police thing. Now, Breonna Taylor, when she was killed, you brushed that off and said, stand with the blue. This pretty much was your message. George Floyd, you stood with the blue. Now, black people who were killed, white people, Trump supporters, white Trump supporters, rioters, Storm into a Capitol building destroys their property that belong to not you or the taxpayer. It just it doesn't belong to just the Trump supporters. That's where you messed up at. You said it belongs to all the people. But the way you said it is almost like you saying it belongs to just the Trump supporters because that's who can go in the building and run a milk. Let me tell you something. It We may have paid for that. Buy our taxpayers' money. But we just can't up and go in when we want to like that. We should be able to go in to have business and talk to these people. But rest assured, they were not there to talk. People who come to your house, uh, or who come to bidding to talk, do not bring guns. People who come to your bidding to talk, 
to a building, excuse me, to a state building to talk does not bring riot gear. Okay? That's what I need to say about that. You don't uh, you don't get to say that people can walk up to a building and riot because of taxpayers' money paid for it. This is like saying, oh, as long as taxpayers' uh, mo uh, money have paid for anything, you can, Trump supporters can go in and do anything. No. No, that's not how it's going to work. And that's how it should not work. You are the reason. You are one of the many reasons on this internet, on this public platform of YouTube, the reason why this has gotten so bad. What did you do? You and your other coon friends. And your Trump butt kissers sat right there and you peddled up the conspiracy theories instead of saying, you know what, y'all, Biden won, let's move on. No, you studied, came up with the conspiracy theories. You played around in it. You played around in it. You capitalized off of it. You, lie, you got a bunch of money off these dumb Trump supporters. Yes, I'm calling y'all dumb. Go ahead. Leave your nasty comment. You're going to get blocked. Leave a dislike. Go ahead. Leave a dislike. Guess what? It's very engagement. You'll only pop my video up on the algorithm. So go ahead. Do it. Leave a little nasty comment. It's going to get blocked. Leave a dislike. You'll only help me out. You uh, Dislikes don't hurt my feelings. Do your worst. But let me get back on to you, though, Mr. Tatum. No, I didn't call you mister. That's too good for you. I would say some more words, but I got a family member in my house right now that I respect. So I can't, so I can't pop off the way I want to. So I got to be careful about what I say. But you, you ain't worth crap. You ain't worth nothing. You have no talents, no discernible talents. You are worth crap as a human being. If your only claim to this world is saying, I helped Trump and I helped his supporters and I helped peddle conspiracy theories, you are a worthless life form. People like you are worthless. This was your one chance. You and the rest of your coon friends, this was y'all's one chance to finally get this right after somebody was doing their job in a capital building and was killed. But no, you have to stand with Trump. But guess what? If you truly believe in God, like you say you do, you should know you ain't going to get away with this. You're not going to get away with it. If you believe by your own admission now, now some people don't believe, so they think that you'll never, uh, you'll never seek justice. But I somehow believe that deep down, you know, it's going to come to you. You know you can get what's coming to you for this. You have built, you and so many others have built your kingdom on disrespecting people. Instead of you trying to stand with black people, you disrespected us. You capitalized off of our murders. The worst moments that we went through, you capitalized off of it. Instead of standing with us, guess what you did? You sat right there and stood beside the people who brutalized people like you and me. Your own people. I don't care if you're light-skinned or not. They don't make you better than me or anybody else. Just because you're light-skinned doesn't mean crap. You're still black. I don't care if you marry someone outside your race. You're still black. I don't care if you are rich. You're still black. And you missed out on your chance. To correct this. You and the people like you. Should have never had a platform. Nobody ever should have listened to you. And then you can sit up her on your video. On your video. In the first. The first. Not even a whole minute. The first thing you say is. Police officers to stand by. Man you full of crap. But let me tell you something y'all. You can don't don't keep on stop listening to these people like him. Look what they doing. Look who they stand for. Look what they stand for. Does this look good to you? Does this look like just like all perfect Christian, as you people like to say, Christian values? A woman being shot at a place of work. Yeah, I guess that's Christian for some of you idiots. But look, that's all I got to say about that. Go ahead, leave a little nasty, funky old comment. I don't care. You only end up helping me out. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to be here all week, now and forevermore, until the end of time. 
But that's all I have to say. As always, I'm Artifacts96. Do whatever you want. You're not going to silence me. And you're not going to silence others who will keep on calling you out. You are discussing excuses for human beings. And you should never, ever have a platform. YouTube should not allow this. YouTube should not allow this. This should not be something that goes on this platform right here. Or any other platform for that matter. Where you see a violent altercation happening and you say, oh, no, the police shouldn't have done anything. It's almost just like you're saying, Officer Jack, idiot. It's almost just like you're saying that it should have gotten worse because if the police had intervened, it would have gotten worse. Oh, but you're pro-life. Yeah, you're pro-life. All right. Mm -hmm. Only life you believe in is the greenbacks in your wallet. That's the only life that you like is the life of your bank account. But that's all I have to say. I'm going for it this time. As always, like, follow, don't like and follow. Either way, it's very engagement. That's all I have to say about that. And must believe this is not the last time I will bring up his name or any other of the coons' names. I will continue to, see, to call you out. Because I know some of y'all, now that he's done do it, the rest of you are going to do it. That's okay, though. A lot of other people are not going to stand for it either. I myself, as a small, as a small channel, am not going to stand for it. But that's it. Bye.